Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. And I am finishing up. This is chapter eight or part eight of the guest BJS tutorial. I've gone through it like I did the last one, so this will be quick. And uh, this one doesn't have a whole lot of coding. We're just adding a couple plugins. We need some tests, so let's get to it. Preparing a site to go live. Wow, you've come a long way. You've learned how to create new Gatsby sites, create pages and components, style components, add plugins to a site, source and transform data, use GraphQL to create data for pages, programmatically create pages from your data. In this final section, we're going to walk through some common steps for preparing a site to go live by introducing a powerful site diagnostic tool called Lighthouse. Along the way, we'll introduce a few more plugins you'll often want to use in your Gatsby site. Looks like Albie is up to it again. He just took a big jump. I wonder if he's going to try it again. He's trying to get at uh, these little dots on the wall. They got him perplexed. When we get back to my what I'm doing, audit with Lighthouse. Quoting from the Lighthouse website, Gatsby is an open source automated tool for improving the quality of web pages. You can run it against the web page, public or requiring authentication. It has audits for performance, accessibility, progressive web apps, and more. Lighthouse is included in Chrome DevTools, running its audit, and then addressing its errors to find and implement it. It finds in implementing the improvements it suggests is a great way to prepare your site to go live. It helps, you, it helps give you confidence that your site is as fast and accessible as possible. Let's try it out. <laughs> First, you need to create a production build of your Gatsby site. Your Gatsby development server is optimized for making development fast, but the site that it generates will, while closely resembling a production version of the site, isn't as optimized. Create a production builder. All right, so I've already done that. I've already run the command. All right, Gatsby build, as you learned, part one, this does production build of your site and outputs the, dust, the build static files into the public directory. You get that. And now I got Gatsby serve running and it's on 9,000. I think he's feeling frisky. Feeling frisky? We gonna get it, Albie? All right, that's running, and then I ran, went here, oh, not there, here, went to an incognito window and opened it up, and then went to audits, the audits tab, there we go, you guys are seeing, just wanted to make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Now you're going to run the first Lighthouse test. If you haven't already done so, open the Chrome DevTools, go here. And would it let me run the test again? No, it won't. There we go. So this is what it looks like. This time we're running for desktop. All right, I'm going to hit run audits. Oh, come on, Albie. And it's running, it's running, it's running.
You gonna do it, Abby? What you doing? I may cancel. Let's try one more time. I think we're into issues because I'm running. I'm doing all the streaming, and that makes sense. So we're going to move ahead. This is similar to what I found, right? So it said I needed to add some things to the Progressive Web App and for SEO. So as you can see, gas performance is excellent out the box, but we're missing some things for PWA accessibility. Best practices in SEO that will improve your scores and in the process make your site much more friendly to visitors and search engines. Add a manifest file. Looks like we have a pretty lackluster score on the Progressive Web App. Let's address that, but first, what exactly is a PWA? They are regular websites that take advantage of modern browser functionality to augment the web experience with app-like features and benefits. Check out Google Review of what defines a PWA experience. Inclusion of a web app manifest is one of the three generally accepted baseline requirements for a PWA. Quoting Google, the web app manifest is a simple JSON file that tells the browser about your web application and how it should behave when installed on your user's mobile device or desktop. Gatsby Manifest plugin configures Gatsby to create a manifest.web manifest file on your or every site build. Here we go. I ran this command already. Add a Fevacon for your app under the source images icon.png. The icon is necessary to build all images for your manifest. For information, for more information, look at the docs for Gatsby plugin manifest. Add the plugin to your plugins array in your Gatsby config.js. Did that. Added this code. It's all you need to get started with adding a web manifest to a Gatsby site. The example plugin reflects a base configuration. Check out the plugin reference for more options. Add offline support. Another thing for a website to qualify the PWA is the use of service worker. A service worker runs in the background deciding to serve network or cache content based on connectivity, allowing for seamless and managed offline experience. Guess plug offline plugin. Makes a Gatsby site work offline and more resistant to bad 